This is the first video of a sequence of videos that introduces you to a couple of SDEs whose distribution can be determined analytically. The goal of this video is to provide some perspective and big picture. The other videos of the sequence will then focus on the mechanics. Now the general theme is that stochastic differential equations cannot be solved analytically, but need to be solved numerically. Yet there are a few exceptions to that rule. In this sequence, we talk about two exceptions. That is, we talk about how to solve a linear SDE and how to solve a geometric Brownian motion. The linear SDE induces a Gaussian distribution. The geometric Brownian motion induces a log normal distribution. When you work with numerical schemes, you need to ensure that you evaluate the integrand at the left end point of an interval. In contrast, for finding an analytical solution, you have two choices. Either you are, you are aware of a specific trick that works for the SDE at hand, or you go a more systematic route. Now the systematic route has the advantage that you don't have to memorize tricks. Instead, you only need to memorize one idea, namely all ODE calculus recipes that got developed over the past hundreds of years are applicable to Stratonovich SDEs. I highlight Stratonovich. And importantly, you can always rewrite an Ito SDE into a Stratonovich SDE and vice versa. Hence the systematic approach to solving SDEs is the following. First, you rewrite the Ito SDE into its Stratonovich form. And second, you try to solve that Stratonovich SDE using well-known ODE cooking recipes. Now you might know that the linear ODE and the separable ODE are the two most well-known applications for explicitly solvable ordinary differential equations. Hence, not surprisingly, there are solution methods for a linear SDE and a separable SDE. Maybe also not surprising, the solution method is exactly the same than for the respective ODE. Now that cannot be a coincidence. And in fact, it's not a coincidence. It's simply the result of that above mentioned systematic two-step approach. And finally, the other route of memorizing a trick for each of these SDEs is in fact doing exactly the same as these tricks indirectly transform the E to SDE to the Stratonovich representation, which I'm telling you. Now, but as we tend to forget tricks, it's in my view better to go with a systematic approach. Hence, that is what we do here. So in the remainder of this video, I want to show you how to rewrite an Ito SDE as a Stratonovich SDE. So assume the Ito SDE for XT reads as follows. The respective Stratonovich representation for xt would look like that. So here we really need a couple of comments. First, the dot notation in front of the Brownian motion is by international convention the sign that this is a Brownian motion in the Stratonovich sense. That means if someone wanted to simulate that process, he or she knew that the evaluation point for the discretization of the Stratonovich integral is the midpoint. T 
t plus 1 minus t over 2. Now for practical work you can ignore that point. Yet, yet it's good to understand it. You can ignore it because for simulation tasks I strongly strongly advise you that you always work with the Ito representation and nothing else. The only time when you transform the Ito to a Stratonovich representation is when you try to derive the conditional density of the SDE, meaning when you try to get the analytical solution. My second comment. When you compare the Ito SDE with its Stratonovich representation, you see that the difference is in the drift. The Stratonovich adjustment of the drift equals with that term here. So one adjusts the drift by the product of the vol and its first derivative. So if the vol is constant, like for a linear SDE, or any other Gaussian SDE, then the first derivative of the volatility term is zero. Hence, that tells you already that a linear Ito SDE has a Stratonovich representation that perfectly coincides with the Ito SDE. Hence, also not surprising, we can find the solution to a linear SDE with the ODE recipe of the integrating factor. So to be precise, the integrating factor finds the solution to the Stratonovich SDE. Yet, as it coincides with the E2 SDE, we've also found the solution to the E2 SDE. Now I end this video with my most important takeaway from that video and that is cookbook recipes for finding solutions to ODEs also work for Stratonovich SDEs.